Have you ever wondered how machine learning algorithms group similar data? Today we're diving into the fascinating world of spectral clustering, a technique that does just that. Picture a bustling city teeming with diverse neighborhoods. Now imagine you're an urban planner tasked with partitioning the city into districts that make sense. Spectral clustering works in a similar way. At its heart, spectral clustering is about identifying communities. It's like a social butterfly at a party, mingling with the crowd, picking up on shared interests, and subtly grouping people based on those shared connections. But instead of people at a party, spectral clustering deals with data points in a data set. But how does it do this? Well, spectral clustering uses the power of mathematics, specifically the magic of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Don't worry if these terms sound like alien language. Think of them as tools that help the algorithm see the bigger picture. Much like how an architect uses blueprints to understand a building structure, these mathematical tools help spectral clustering understand the structure of the data. Spectral clustering starts by creating a similarity matrix, a table that shows how similar each data point is to every other point. It's like a massive friendship chart, showing who gets along with whom. Then, using eigenvalues and eigenvectors, the algorithm transforms this matrix into a form that reveals the hidden clusters within the data. But what makes spectral clustering special? For one, it doesn't make assumptions about the shape or size of the clusters in the data. Imagine trying to divide a city into square districts when the neighborhoods are shaped like circles or triangles. That wouldn't work very well, would it? Spectral clustering avoids this problem by being flexible, with the shape and size of the clusters it identifies. Another strength of spectral clustering is its ability to handle non-linear data. It's like a seasoned traveler adept at navigating winding paths and rough terrains where other techniques might stumble. However, spectral clustering isn't without its challenges. It can be computationally expensive, especially with large data sets. It's like trying to host a party in a mansion with hundreds of rooms. It requires a lot of resources to pull off. In summary, spectral clustering is a powerful tool for grouping similar data. It's flexible, adept at handling non-linear data, but can be resource intensive. It's like a social butterfly, an architect, a seasoned traveler, and a party host, all rolled into one. Spectral clustering is not just another algorithm. It's a testament to the power and beauty of mathematics in helping us make sense of our complex world.